argue the Nordic languages are better. So, and, and, and I, I might have explained this before, um, but I was talking with a language nerd, a fellow language nerd, and we kind of hit upon the idea that English is the best spoken language. Or I'm sorry, let me rephrase. Japanese is the best spoken language in that it is the... It's a very simple language to learn, but it's vocabulary heavy, and it's very context sensitive. So that you don't actually need to learn a lot of sounds in order to be a fluent Japanese speaker. Um, that's, that's why you have, you know, this epidemic of so many people in Japan that, that are able to speak just fine, but like literacy levels in Japan are, are super low compared to a lot of other developed countries because there's a lot of very complicated symbology um, in Japanese where you have one or two kanji that can represent an entire word or concept. And so you basically, where like in most languages, words are made up of a collection of symbols. In Japan, you can have an entire sentence that takes up eight characters, right? And so Japanese as a spoken language is outstanding for conveying information quickly and conveying very complex ideas in a short period of time. If both speakers understand Japanese, it's an outstanding language to speak. On the flip side, it's a terrible written language because it's so context sensitive, because it's so complex, because you have to learn so many symbols in order to be fluent in written Japanese. And so as a direct result of that, while it's probably the best language to learn to speak, it's the worst language if you're trying to convey things like history or complex ideas through writing. On the flip side, you have English, whether that be UK English, Commonwealth English, or American English, is probably one of the best languages for writing and record keeping. And that's because English as a language is very, very specific about a lot of things that you want to be specific about when you're writing. Because when you're speaking to a person, you can have a conversation, you can have a dialogue, you can go back and forth and talk to each other, right? So in a conversation, speaking, it's easy to, to clarify. In a written setting, it's often not as easy to clarify because when you're writing something, it's with the assumption that someone is going to come along and read that information later. You're not gonna be there to clarify or to further elaborate on whatever it is that you're trying to say. And again, as far as record keeping is concerned, English is an outstanding language for that because it's specific about the things that you want to be specific about when you're talking in a past tense or in a record keeping sense, but it's not super specific like a lot of other Latin languages are where you have to worry about like like gendering your your uses of the or those like you don't have a male and female version of the word banana right so like there's not a lot of gendering in english as a language so it's very good for record keeping specific information about specific things but doesn't require you to learn a lot of the extra verbal or, or linguistic baggage that comes along with a lot of the other Latin languages. So that's, again, total fucking language nerd tangent there, but I thought I would share that because it's something that I always thought is interesting, is that if you were gonna pick the perfect language to speak and the perfect language to write, you had English as the perfect written language or the best written language, the best record-keeping language, and Japanese as one of the best spoken languages for completely opposite regions. But yeah, that's 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 my nerd out moment. Feel free to discuss. Uh, but anyway, the conspirators part two. Let's get into this. 
we're gonna take max salvage, as you do. We'll fill out the rest with sea bills. Assume a kind of tonnage limit they're gonna give us on this one. 295. So, once again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. All the mechs are repaired. Um. So yeah, I think we just go right back in with the same lance. So speak Japanese and read in English. Uh, ideally, yes. Bad chat. I, I'm not gonna lie. I let let me look real quick. I I want to know how hot it is right now. It says it's only 90 degrees. I'm sorry, 95 degrees now. I don't believe that shit. Because I have the air conditioner on, and it's... The air conditioner blows directly on me and my computer when I'm sitting here at the desk. And my computer temps are way higher than they should be right now. So I, I know it says it's 95 right now, but I think it's significantly hotter than that. This will be read against support installations for the 8th Circus Fusiliers, the group that attacked us on Kamal. Eyes on Democracy want us to disrupt their operations to discourage them from mounting another assassination attempt against Owens. I must warn you that we are attacking the Fusiliers on their home turf. So watch out. They will have substantial defenses. Well, I don't know if you guys know this, Rihanna, but incidentally, uh, one, one of the things that Davian is kind of famous for is their... maybe not quite so diplomatic position of democracy for thee, or democracy for me, but not for thee. Um, Davian loves democracy as long as you're voting for their people. Uh, they're, they're not super enthusiastic about democracy when it's not working in their favor. As a general rule. But then again, I think you could make that argument about a lot of the Inner Sphere. Like, the Inner Sphere loves democracy until they're not winning. Definitely, definitely not any parallels to current day American politics that I can think of just off the top of my head. Well, you go ahead and do it yourself then, Jacob, but I'm, I'm still going to take my shit. Ah, I almost hit you in the head. Oh no, it's an urban mech. It's an urban mech. Oh, hi, buddy. Be rendered into the past tense. Alright, here's the target we're here to blow up. You are correct, Snoopy. I mean, it, it takes... It takes a lot of self-control to work for Davian, but the pay's good. And I'm a mercenary first. Watch yourself down there, Commander. The Fusiliers are no idle threat, and Vaughn isn't around with the riflemen. I'm I agree, Bahad. When I want your opinion, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Suffice it to say, clear the cop. You lie me. Capellans are blood enemies of everyone, including Capellans. And that was the end of that base. Target is down. 
Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, isn't there another? Yeah, there's another objective way over there. I kind of want to go and handle that, but I think we'll just go this way for now. Fucking defend yourself. You're being shot in the back. Enemy mech down. Turn around and kill the dudes that are shooting you in the back, you doofuses. Alright, here we go. What do we got? We got a rifleman, we got a hunchback, and we got a target. Oh, and we got a light mech over here as well. Javelin? What kind of javelin? I didn't quite get a good look. SRM6 javelin. Alright, so I'm not I'm not in too much danger unless he gets close. Oh, you're gonna have a bad time, buddy. Real bad time. And so are your friends, incidentally. Alright, fine. We want to do this the hard way, we'll do it the hard way. You did that to you. You did that to you. Alright, there we go. Now it's time to switch mechs. To something a little speedier. So that we can close the gap. Of this, this 3,000 meters. 3,000 bananas? I don't know. I, I don't have a point of reference for meters. But uh, let's let's get this 3,000 meters to the target. Target destroyed. Ah, there we go. See, now the wangan gets it. I, that's a measurement that I can get behind. Oh, Mr. Teach, don't don't just go double PPCX. Go quadruple PPCX. We're young running quad PPCX is on that awesome. They're laser tits because they're all in the torso. Yeah, the, the, the right, or I guess it's the left torso is, is not looking so good. Yeah, not only is it four, but we also have that thing upgraded with a bunch of heat reduction and capacity increases. So I can actually fire those really fast. Yeah, it's basically a dubstep album. That That's a good way to put it. Oh, I saw that explosion. I done seen it. Alright, I'm a little bit worried about going into this engagement. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna wait here for a second. Let these guys catch up. Well there's the Hatamoto. Alright. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. PPCX does look like the physical manifestation of dubstep. Yeah, it kind of is. It kind of is. Aye, there we go. There we go. Now that we're a little bit closer. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to convert that into, uh into the the imperial system or the american system because let's be honest 
the United States is pretty much the only nation that still uses Imperial Measurement because fuck the rest of the world. Um, if you wanted to convert that into American units, uh, generally speaking, one meter is roughly 62 hot dogs. Uh, however, if you're measuring them in foot-long hot dogs, which aren't actually one foot long, it's, it's, it's mostly just a name, but if you're measuring that in foot-long hot dogs, then it's actually closer to 46 uh, hot dogs. So it, it just depends. It depends. And for those of you that are going to come out of the woodwork and say, um, you know, but how many hamburgers in it is it, then I would immediately say, then congratulations, you just outed yourself as a British spy, because all Americans know that hot dogs are a unit of length and hamburgers are a unit of weight. So, you know, nice try, red coat, but... How many football fields to moon landings is it? Uh, if you're talking about the ratio of football fields to moon landings, uh, the moon landing to football ratio is about 3.6, roughly. I mean, there's a couple more decimal points in there, but again, we're American. We don't we don't really go beyond the first decimal place. Yeah, not, not all not all hot dogs are the same size, and foot-long hot dogs are not all a foot long. In much the same way that, uh, you know, if you were going to measure them in sub Subway yeah. sandwiches, not sub-sandwiches, but Subway sandwiches, those also aren't a foot long. And in fact, depending on which store it's made in and what time it was made, it could be shorter or longer. So, you know, just FYI. And Megas repriming for a third month says, What can I say? Love this place. Well, I'm happy to hear it, Megas. Thank you for hanging around for three months. Thank you for subscribing for three months. Thank you for supporting me, supporting the channel, and supporting the community. And again, welcome back into the cult. Uh, happy that you enjoy the community. I, I would like to think that we have created a, a lovely little group of misfits here uh, as we as we mech bay heresy our way across the inner sphere. All right, let's see, 30 picks, wow. Oh, I headshotted this guy, that's why it's it's so many picks. Well, let's see if we've got any decent tech. I mean, we got some small pulse lasers on that Vulcan, but I don't, I don't think that's really worth going after at this point in the campaign. Um, What else do we have? Anything of use? I was hoping to see some double heat sinks, but no dice. No pulse lasers either, kind of disappointing all around, truth be told. So we'll just, uh, we'll just grab some random stuff, call it a day. And then let's get into the mech bay. Obviously we're gonna sell the, the new salvage that we just brought in. As you do. And of course, next up on the docket, we'll go ahead and get the mechs repaired. Also, as you do. So far, the hatamoto has been performing well enough. Although, to be fair, we're also in missions that are significantly below the difficulty limit that a Hatamoto is meant for. But we're not going to split hairs. Alright, Conspirators, part three. And where are we headed for this? Uh, to Bethel. Bethel, eh? Alright. Well, let's get yeah. underway for the next leg of the journey. Don't forget about eagles per gun. Uh, eagles per gun is is a little bit of an abstract measurement. Um, it's it's a conversion unit of weight to length. So 
eagles per gun is kind of like it's one of those that yeah i mean technically it's a unit of measurement but you really only use it in very specific circumstances so you don't hear about it too much uh we got some cantina missions i'll collect some tier four rifles we'll do some erppcs oh tier four though i don't know about that i don't know about that We'll keep an eye out for some 4-H hunchbacks, though. We can do that. Um, in the meantime, we want to go to contracts. We have a 310 ton limit on this one. Careful, Commander. The sensors are malfunctioning due to the weather. And we Actual might be able to... Let's see. As well. We can throw the crab out. We've got 70 tons that we can play with on this one. So let's see what else can we stick in here. That's what she said. Um, We've got some 70 ton max in cold storage. Let's go ahead and pull one of those out. As a matter of fact, I think a Warhammer will do the job nicely. I'm taking a Warhammer out in a little bit. Whoops. Try again. Click on the correct mech this time around. And then let's see, who's got some affinity in a Warhammer? Nobody, pretty much. Alright, well if that's the case, I don't think we've taken North- Oh wait, never mind, what Mara's got some affinity. So we'll put in Mara. Uh, and, uh, yeah! Once again, let's make it hot! You want to pay $50 for a sandwich on DoorDash? Yeah, that's why I don't use the the, the food ordering apps anymore. Because it's like, you buy a $10 combo from a fast food restaurant, it somehow ends up costing $40. And it's like, nah. Alright, Snoopy. Well, thanks for dropping by. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a good day at work. And, of course, thanks for the subs and all that as well. We're always glad to have you, and hopefully we'll catch you again. In the meantime, have an outstanding rest of your weekend. Oh, yeah? Yeah, go ahead and take him out, guys. You, you don't you don't need my permission. You do not need my permission to kill the vehicles. And Snoopy, damn it, don't do that shit. Just because I mentioned the subs doesn't mean you have to give out more subs. But thank you for 10 more gift subs before you head off to work. I appreciate it, Snoopy. Again, you do not have to do that. But thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me, supporting the channel, and supporting the community. Yeah? In the Federated Sons is a luxury granted and Dark Sarah clapping back with five gift subs of their own. Thank you, Dark Sarah, as well, like for the massive generosity and the massive the chicken. And I appreciate the gift subs all the same. So if you got gifted a sub by Snoopy or Dark Sarah, be sure to thank them for that generosity. And again, Dark Sarah, thank you so much for the five subs. I always say, you guys do not have to do that, but I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart that you have chosen to support the stream that way, but never feel like you have to. Again, just being here, hanging out, and having a good time is all that I ask. Ron Johnson says thank you. Well, uh, that's, that's a hell of a name. Ron Johnson. I don't know if that means what I think it means. My mind's in the gutter. But I can appreciate a good knob joke. What do we get? Oh, it's a Cyclops. Well, I'm probably going to do it myself. You guys are taking your sweet-ass time. We're on it, Commander. Look here, you little bastard. 
I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood for your circle strafing bullshit. We brought assault mechs to this fight and you guys are running around here in locusts and javelins. That's an insult. That is an insult to the heavy metal that we brought to this mission. Alright, we're demolishing the base. I can definitely do that. You owe me rent. I don't owe you shit. The only thing I owe my landlord is a swift kick in the ass. We'll take out the blackjack then. If he's gonna shoot you in the back, the least you can do is shoot back at him. Come here, you little donkey. I've seen you. You're not getting away. Hey, pay attention. Sir, you are being hunted. Nighty night. I told you before, I don't owe you shit, and I will fisticuffs you. I will fisticuffs you, good sir. There we go. Alright, now let's get back to blowing up this thing. why energy weapons are outstanding for base destruction because then I don't have to get up close for these ocean inspections I can just do it from a distance see like it's kind of like the witch trials in Salem right where they were like hey here's what we're gonna do we're gonna tie these giant rocks to your feet and if you float you're a witch and if you don't and you die then that means you aren't a witch you're still dead but at least you can die with a clean conscience because you're not a witch. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, troubleshooter. I will also stomp big Macs. The problem is that they're not really sending any big Macs after. Like, I would be more than happy to stomp some big mechs if they would actually throw any at us. Once again, be rendered into the past tense. And now we will GTFO. Uh, if you get close to my LZ, I'm gonna shoot you. Alright. You did this to you. You did this to you. I gave you fair warning. Just got all the DLC for MechWarrior 5 today. Well, outstanding news, though, Hazard. Hopefully you enjoy the game. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, the Steam Summer Sale is currently going on, and in addition to the MechWarrior 5 DLC being on sale, there's a lot of other stuff that's on sale, too. So, uh, yeah, if you were thinking about taking the plunge on MechWarrior 5 and the DLCs, uh, now's a great time to do it while the Summer Sale's going on. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me see. Let me, let me pull it up and let's see how, how much the discount currently is. Uh, let me see, let me see. Sorry, chat, if I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here taking a break in the middle of the stream so that I can look up MechWarrior 5, but... 
Let's see, right now, Mech Warrior 5 is on sale for 60% off, and you can pick up the base game for $12. Um, and let's see, what's the bundle info? They've got the Jump Ship Edition, which has got some of the DLCs. That's also a pretty deep discount. Uh, where is the thing? If you wanted to buy everything, if you wanted to buy the complete package right now on Steam during the summer sale, with everything except the newest DLC being 60% off, you can actually pick up the game and all of the, the, all of the BLC for it as well for 46 bucks. 46 bucks. So less than 50 bucks, you can pick up the game and all the DLC. That's uh, US dollars, so obviously convert that to whatever your regional equivalent is. That's why I mentioned that it's 60% off. Uh, but let's see, we can pick up the Cyclops. Not much left of it, but that'll be decent for the picks. Um, and then we can fill out with some random equipment. There we go. Another mission successfully completed. Bought my Quarry 5 not long ago when it was on sale. The sale's now cheaper than the previous sale. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, I don't know when the last time it went on sale was, but I know in the past... Um... Like, I have, I have bought a game before on Steam, and I bought it on a discount, and then like a week later, the game went on discount for an even deeper discount, so it was like 20% off, and then the following week it was like 60% off, because Steam was doing some big sale. I actually sent a, a message to Steam, and I was like, hey, uh, can I refund this game? in order to rebuy it at the cheaper discount. Um, so I, I basically tried to refund the game and I, I told them the reason I was refunding the game was because it was being sold less than seven days later for an even bigger discount. And they actually gave me the refund for it. Um, again, the refund process is, is human oversight, so I don't know that they'll do that for you, but they did it for me. I don't even remember what the game is now, but, but I definitely have done that in the past. But of course, you have to be at the point where you can refund the game. Like, if you've played it for 50 hours in that week, then that's they're, they're probably not going to let you get away with that. Oh, this has got a part four. Oh, that's right, I remember. This is a pretty long chain. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and we'll do... Oh, we, we currently... We're, we're maxed out. All right. Well, then what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the Cantina mission to pick up this, because we're not going to do that. Um, let me see. If we go to the Cantina mission, though, and they say... Oh, they don't have one to pick anything up. So we'll go We'll go with the kill warrior units. Warriors are the basic helicopter VTOLs. We're definitely going to kill uh, 30 helicopters. N no doubt about that. So let's see where the next mission is taking us. It's taking us to Novaya Zemlia. All right, let's get underway. And son of a bitch, Chet, I forgot to repair the mechs before we left. Oh, well, there you go. Serini says XCOM 2 is 95% off. I know it's a pretty old game at this point. I mean, shit, XCOM 2 is almost 10 years old now, if I remember right. Um, but if you have not had an opportunity to play XCOM 2, highly, 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 highly recommend getting it especially at 95% off. It is an outstanding game with an outstanding modding scene. Yeah. Even today, like they're still releasing mods even now. The modding community is still extremely active and there's a lot of really good mods for XCOM 2. So if you've been thinking about playing XCOM 2 or even if you've just been a little curious and wanted to pick it up, 95% off is really hard to argue with in terms of price. And Gen C coming in with the Prime sub for four months. Again, thank you, Gen C, for the reprime and the four months of continued support. Amazon Prime lets you subscribe to one Twitch channel for free. I appreciate you choosing this channel as the channel to use that free sub on. So thank you very much, Gen C. I appreciate it. 
Oh, Black Hydra, I don't think we're ever gonna get an XCOM 3. At least, at least not from, from Firaxis. Uh, they, they've already, like, that team has disbanded. A lot of those people don't even work there anymore. And, uh, a few of the creative folks that were working on XCOM 2 have already said, uh, they, they had no intention, the company had no intention of working on a third game. Especially after they did that, uh, whatever it was, the Delta Squad game, or whatever the hell squad it was. Like, that, that little spin-off game, it did so poorly that they were like, yeah, we're, we're basically just done with XCOM at this point. And that's fine, I mean, there are plenty of alternatives out there. Chimera Squad, there you go, that's what it was. But yeah, there, there are plenty of alternatives out there. Um, from what I've heard, Xenonauts 2 is still kinda iffy. Um, they are working on it, and it is an early access game. I do kind of feel bad for the developers of Xenonauts 2, because, uh, like, they got fucking lambasted when they released it in early access, and people were like, oh man, this game barely works, and it's so buggy, and blah 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 blah, it's like, guys, it's fucking early access. And the argument was, oh, well, there are plenty of early access titles that come out that work better than this. And it's like, okay, that's fine. But early access is early access. Like, there's no... There's no standard about how much or how well a game is supposed to function when it comes out in early access. So, like, everybody was blasting Xenonauts yeah. 2 for being buggy and not working very well. And it's like, again, that's... It's early access. You're buying an incomplete product. Uh, but anyway, but anyway, I'm sitting here on a tangent. But Caffeinated Lemur converting their Prime sub to a Tier 1. Thank you for the conversion, Caffeinated Lemur. And thank you for the Tier 1 sub. And Ven gifting 10 subs to the community as well. Again, y'all are going insane. And we are now, oh my god, we got a golden Kappa yeah. train. What the hell, chat? What the hell? You guys are trying to start a Golden Kappa hype train? Stop that shit. Stop that shit. And punished Fink as well with 300 Bezos bucks. Says, I thought they were going to do Terror from the Deep. Also, I think CH. I feel like you might have meant to backspace and accidentally hit enter there. But thank you for the 300 Bezos bucks, punished Fink. I appreciate it. And again, thank you, Vin. For the gifted subs as well. Again, you guys do not have to support the channel that way, but I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so, so much. And y'all stop that shit. No more hype trains. No more hype trains. We already had hype train. We don't need second hype train. Chat. Calm your tits. Yeah? Most of the complaints about God damn it, troubleshooter. 2,000 years later. It is, it leaves me speechless, and yet here I am in front of you, on a camera, with a microphone, trying to find a way to articulate it anyway. It's, I, I don't know what to say, so I will just say, thank you. Glad to believe you earn it. We enjoy the community. The community wouldn't exist if you hadn't come into the picture and started your own thing. We're the degenerates you somehow caught in the mech bay, and we just want to make boss happy. Well, I appreciate it. It, it does make me happy. It's... There is value in knowing that the content that I create means something to someone besides myself. Um, you know, to, to go out here and to create this kind of content and to know that there are other people out there that... that watch it, that enjoy it, that look forward to it, it's... Like I said, it's a strange feeling. It's, it's a good feeling, but it's a strange feeling. Um, and, and it makes me happy, again, to know that, that something I'm doing is is worth that to you guys that you think it's worth it so you know again I, i've said before i don't deserve it but i will earn it or i i will try to earn it as best i can so once again as as the hype train continues allow me to once again say thank you from the bottom of my heart for the insane support the insane generosity um it all means something it all means something don't let anybody tell you otherwise don't let anybody tell you different it, it is it all matters, and it all means something. If, if to no one else, then it matters to me. So thank you guys so much. Uh, but with that said, let's 
Let's try, try to get back into the mission, shall we? Everyone that's able to donate, thanks for helping support. Yeah, and that's the thing. I've said before, I'll say it again. I'll, I'll continue to say it for, for as long as I'm doing this. Like, you guys are under no obligation, zero obligation to sub to the channel, to donate to the channel. Uh, you're not even under any obligation to be here. That, that's why I thank you guys at the end of every stream, just for spending some time here, because there's a, a million billion other ways, other places that you could be spending your Saturday and that you choose to spend it here with me and with this community is, is worth something. And I do appreciate that. I'll never stop saying it because it'll never stop being true that I appreciate you guys taking the time to hang out and again, make this community what it is, make the stream what it is. So... There you go. Golden, golden Kappa hype train success level 12. And that is all you. I did not do that. You guys did that. So y you are all to blame for this. You are all to blame for this. So shame on all of you for being so fiscally irresponsible. Shame on you. Shame. Speaking of shame, let's go commit some war crimes, Jen. Let's go commit some war crimes. Okay. See, y'all got me all emotional. I completely forget that I didn't even repair our mechs. Son of a bitch. Well, I guess we'll do that now. I guess we'll do that now. Uh, let's see. With that out of the way... What what say we try to let's say we try to take some some different stuff out here, because they're giving us a little bit of a lower weight limit this time around on the mission. So, I wonder if we've only got two hundred and seventy tons. I mean, I think you guys know what time it is. I think you know what time it is. Let's take out the one E because we haven't done that yet. We still need to get that blooded. Um, and then how much tonnage does that leave us? That leaves us 170 tons. So I think we'll put in some crabs. And then we'll have 70 tons left over. What do we have for 70 tons? I mean, I guess we could put the Warhammer back in. And it'll only take three days to get it put back together. Um, so let us... See, uh, we know Mara is our Let's Warhammer pilots. Uh, who have we not put in? I think we put in Jonah, but we'll do Jonah again. We'll put Ansi in. And who are we going to put into this Annihilator? Who has not been in the missions today? I think Aetherin is the only pilot we haven't put in yet. So we'll put in Aetherin. We'll send him out in the Annihilator. And uh, we'll give this laser boat a, a try and see how it does. It Remember, this is fast. This is fast, Annihilator. It goes 60 kph. The monthly top gifters resets tomorrow. Oh, it does. You're right, it does. It does. So all of you guys with your insane support, you're going to have to start it all over again tomorrow. Please, please don't start it over again tomorrow. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. But let's make it hot, chat. Let's make it hot. And I'm pretty sure I might have missed it because of everything else that was going on. Um, let me see. I could swear that somebody redeemed... I could swear that somebody redeemed a, a hydration in there somewhere, so if I forgot about it, I'm gonna hydrate now. So hydration incoming if I missed it. While you approach from the south. Together, we can box Count Vidios in. The Count is the primary target, so ensure that he does not escape. Let's get a move on, Commander. Oh, weapon groups. Weapon groups. Alright, so we got a bunch of ER short burst lasers. Um, I'm gonna do what I normally do, and I'm basically just gonna say... We're gonna have one button for a chain fire and one button for a full alpha. Is yeah, now the question is... A man like Count Excuse me. To attempt to kill fellow countrymen. Oh, I, I, I did it backwards. 
That's what I want. It's well known that Vitios is a cause Mother! I didn't save it, chat. I'm an idiot. Apply. There we go. Look here. Look. Oh. Oh my Jesus. Holy shit. Snoopy versus Irby, who's supposed to be at work right now. Coming in right after the hype train with 50 gift subs. 55 zero gift subs. Holy shit. And Snoopy versus Irby, thank you for that insane generosity. That 50 gift subs on the tail end. Almost starting a hype train all by yourself again. But goddamn, Snoopy vs. Irby. Be should, and, and you know what? Everybody thanks Snoopy vs. Irby for 50 gift subs. That is an insane amount of support. You absolutely do not have to do that. But thank you so much for that, Snoopy. Uh, again, 50 new members. In addition to all of the other new members in the Cult of Bad Tactical Decision in just the last 20 minutes. And, and that is all you guys. So thank you. Thank you so, so much, Snoopy. Uh, we got our weapon groups. Let's see. There we go. Alright, so we have learned if we're sitting at 5 heat when we're idle, we go up to almost 65 on a full alpha. So we can definitely do some damage when we do that, but we'll have to be very, very careful. Mara. Mara's having a brain fart right now. Alright, can, can we get on task now, please? Would that be okay with you? I mean, you say that, Megas, but it's also firing seven burst large lasers. So, the fact that we're even able to fire all seven of them without immediately overheating is, is pretty impressive. Alright, let's see what we got here. And again, this is an Annihilator. We are moving exceptionally fast for an Annihilator. And the thing is, with the chain fire, we can keep up this sustained damage. I really should have brought AMS. In hindsight. I mean, I know that the Annihilator is a tanky boy, but even so. Oh, we're stuck on the terrain. Where we're riding the line. We are riding the line, Chad. Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna wait for the heat to get down a little bit, and then full alpha. That was not the end all that I was hoping it would be. But again, to be fair, this is very fast for an Annihilator. We'll see what we can do to just leg this guy. Oh, you're going down, buddy. Don't worry. Get leg, nerd. Yeah, we're already taking a lot of damage up front, but then again, that's to be expected on this mission. This this mission's a little rough. People never trust my mech builds until they try them. I mean, I'll try anything once. Wait, what? We'll go. Focusing fire. 
It's a Warhammer, but it's way down there. Oh yeah, I got your attention now, didn't I? Excuse you? Excuse fucking you? PCX hurts. Target received. PPCX hurts. I can't target that. Scrub one. Target. Enemy destroyed. Target destroyed. Lemmings. Lemmings. All right. Can we get moving now, maybe? I, I guess the answer is no. Bye. I, I actually took damage from that. Are you, are you fucking serious? It crashed into me and I took damage from it. I mean, I should. That makes sense. But it doesn't change the fact that I was not expecting it. Are you, are you fucking serious right now? What is that? Is that another blackjack? Oh, alright. So you've chosen death. God. Damn. I can't even get a lock on this motherfucker. Matter of fact, let's do this number here. Bullshit, you can't make it there. Go where I tell you, please. Feel free to shoot back if at any point that feels like it would be convenient for you. And I can barely make out the arms. Let's see if I can, like, take the arms off the fucking thing. Because thankfully the arms on a Jaeger mech are very weak. So if I can, like, snipe the arms off of him. There we go. Suddenly he's no longer a long-range threat. Try not to get my people all shot to shit out here. And Wrecked Carl rolling into the chat on a Saturday. Good to see you again, Wrecked Carl. Glad to have you. Hopefully the weekend is treating you well, buddy. And hopefully you came for some hot mech on mech action, because that's exactly what we got going on right now. Yeah, this mission is kind of a slog, Sarge. I, I mean, like, no matter what you do, you're gonna take a bunch of damage, and then you get to the end with this big fight against a bunch of super heavy mechs, and it's like, like, it, it's, all in all, it's a rough mission. Like, it's a challenge, but it's a challenge for the wrong reasons, in my opinion.
I think that's the best we can hope for given the circumstances. I'm gonna burn him down. Facility, Commander. This will go down much better for us if we can successfully... Okay, maybe not. We're, we're gonna be here a while if that's the case. We gotta get in here and defend this base. Otherwise, they're just gonna blow up the damn base and then we're gonna fail the mission anyway. Ow! Asshole! I mean, he, he kinda did though. That's like, you're like, oh, nobody makes a patsy out. Like, no, he totally did. He totally fucking did. I am aware of the situation, thank you. I'm doing my best here, buddy. Focus target updated. See if we can take out these tanks. Should not take four shots from a large laser to take out a scorpion, but whatever. There we go. And we got cataphrag. Oh hell no! Oh hell no! Now, there we go. There we go. I. I think I just got headshotted. Like, I literally saw the projectile hit me in the face. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing that happened. That is absolutely a thing that happened. Just got fucking headshotted out of a goddamn annihilator by, uh... By a Gauss rifle. We got a weapon groups here. We got a weapon groups. Uh, that and that and that. Yeah, ho hopefully Mara was able to eject on that one, because, uh, that was double gauss to the face. Like, that that was literally worst case scenario for a pilot. Yeah. God damn it. I wasn't paying attention. Weapon destroyed. It's getting better by the minute. Getting better by the minute. Please feel free to go into the darkness whenever it's convenient. Thank you. Asshole. We are we are running out of parts and weapons. That's a big ol' oof. That is, that is an official oof. I feel like we probably could have let the base take a little more damage. In hindsight. Alright, what else do we get? I know there's a couple of vehicles still kicking around here. I'm very confused. There you are. I'm, I'm maybe... I don't have any large lasers on this Warhammer anymore. So I'll have to be very, very careful. 
streams there not long ago. Now we, yeah, we've been running for about three and a half hours. I actually should have taken a BRB a while ago, but then some motherfuckers got me all fucking bleary eyed and shit with a bunch of gift subs. Guys, I, I really need you to take out this Warhammer, because without jump jets, we cannot get to him. But I can't actually... I don't think I can hit him from here. And now, like, I'm pretty sure... I, I mean, maybe I can, like... Can we, like, Skyrim mountain climb our way up these rocks? I don't think we can. Oh, that's a PPCX. At lat let's like literally one of the worst case scenarios for being up close. Ow! Alright, there goes- there goes an arm. Come on guys. I'm- I'm hoping there we go, there goes the other arm. No more PPCXs for you. Well. Well. Let's, let's hope that the pilot survived, but... Just to be sure, though. So Most far, uh, the maiden voyage of the 1E Annihilator was not great. I mean, to be fair, it was standing up to good punishment, which is exactly what you expect from an Annihilator. It's just, you know, the double gauss to the cockpit. That, that's pretty much the death knell for any mech. Not, not, not just Annihilator. All right, let's let's see. Let's see what the bad news is. All right, so we got a cataphract, which we took out the engine core, but otherwise it still has the center torso. Got an archer that's cored, shred that's cored, warhammer, vindicator, raven. Oh, we got two silver bullet gauss, so we're obviously taking that. I keep forgetting that we bought a bunch of those. We need to do something with those. Uh, what else do we got? What else do we got? We got some medium short burst lasers. Small pulse laser. And yeah, nothing nothing outstanding in there. So let's let's see. If we take the cataphract, that gives us another five picks. So maybe instead of the cataphract, we take the archer, and then we take the raven, and it's only going to cost us an additional 200k, but I think that'll be a decent amount of salvage. Ah, shit, you're right, crappy sniper, I should have... Ah, we can, we can. Outstanding. Is there any silver bullet gauss ammo? It does not look like it. There is regular Gauss ammo. We've already got 16 bends though, so I think we're good. Because it, it doesn't look like the silver bullet uses, like, bespoke ammo. And I see a King Panzer. Hydration incoming. The Annihilator got double Gauss headshot. Yeah, it, it absolutely got double Gauss headshot. Ah, uh, so nobody died, thankfully. And actually, nobody got injured. So, here's the thing. Here's the thing. For those of you that don't know, you know, the, the deep lore, the deep lore behind Mara, the whole thing about Mara is they had a history of, like, getting blown up in the artillery in the BTA campaign. And, you know, making the, the, the deaf knell, the scream of, oh my god, I died, scream, but then not only not dying, but then somehow being uninjured after the end of a mission. Like, that happened twice in the BTA campaign with Mara. So, no, no, so Aetherin is in the Annihilator, 
because Aetherin was in the Warhammer. I was playing as Mara. Or no, I'm sorry, it was Aetherin, but you're right, you're right. But I, I'm like... That's a thing that's happened multiple times. So I take back what I said. It was Mara in the Warhammer. It was Aetherin in the Annihilator. Aetherin somehow survived. I don't know how. But they somehow survived. I'm not going to look at Gift Horse in the mouth. Uh, and we do get uh, the big double gauss rifleman as a hero mech. I think we have to repair it, but we do get it as salvage. So, the crab got beat up, but it made it through. The war hammer, it's seen better days. It has seen better days. Let's have a look at the loadout. Let's see what we can do to get it repaired. We can put it together. We can actually get it completely repaired. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. I think we should go to an industrial hub to do that. The same with the annihilator. We lost the FCS, unfortunately, which really sucks because the FCF FCS Nova is actually really good. Um, let's see, the Cyclops will go ahead and sell just to get some money. Archer, same story, we'll sell it. Raven, we'll sell it. And uh, the Hero Rifleman will hang on to. We, we will put that back together. I don't even know if we'll put it back together. I think I'll, I mean, I'm not going to use it. So I'll tell you what we'll do instead. I'll tell you what we'll do instead. We will pull out the Gauss. We'll pull out the ammo. I'm going to pull out the endo. We'll take out all the engine stuff. I'm basically just going to strip this thing down. I'm not even going to repair it. I'm just going to strip it. And then we'll put it in cold storage once it's stripped. Uh, with that being said, that's another mission chain out of the way. So let's head to the operations, objective logs, and the next one is enemy of my enemy, which is over in Merrick space. But, but, it's been almost four hours, Chet. So real quick, let's figure out where we're going to go. So I think the first thing we need to do is we need to hit an industrial zone. Um... I think we'll stop over in Capellan space because it's newer. Uh, we've already been to this industrial zone. I think we head over here. Um, we'll check it out, see if there's any if there's any hero mechs, and then from there we'll head over to the actual objective, and then we'll take a BRB. Mech Warrior. There we go. Chugging real hard on that one. And let's see what we got. No hero mechs. No hero mechs. But we can at least check the equipment. See if there's anything worth having. Binary laser short burst. I didn't know that short burst binary lasers were a thing. But we'll definitely take ER short burst large lasers, always. Uh, not much else in terms of weapons. What do we got? What do we got? We got some Pharaoh. We got BC missile. Battle computer missile. Oh, nice. I'll take that for sure. Uh, double AC-20 bins. Always gonna take double bins. I don't think we need to buy any more Pharaoh because we've already got like eight sets of it that we're currently not using. Uh, definitely take some energy FCS. Always gonna take more gyros. Patchwork. Oh, oh, patchwork. That's the stuff that actually lets you just reduce weight. Those are awesome. Uh, we'll take more powered sensors, and we've actually got Indo for sale. I will absolutely take that. And we relate. So here's here's another thing we need to do, Chad. And I know we've talked about this before. Um, we need to go through the mech bay, and like a lot of the mechs that we currently use a lot, I need to look at like upgrading them all with you know Indo, with Pharaoh, 
uh, upgrading the tiers on the weapons, giving them the upgraded sensors, putting FCSs and gyros in. We really need to look at like those, those low impact upgrades for a lot of the mechs that we're running. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll have to look at that in the near future. But for right now, again, it has been almost four hours. My butt hurts. I need to go to the restroom. Um, and I need to wash my face. So we're going to do a BRB. Um, as always, I'll put on some, some music for you. And uh, we will be right back. What about breakfast? We've already had it. We've had one, yes. What about second breakfast? I don't think he knows about second breakfast, Pip. What about elevensies? Luncheon, afternoon tea, dinner, supper. He knows about them, doesn't he? I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> 